What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be building the mission models contained in bag four for the FLL Cargo Connect 2021-2022 game. Contained in these bags are the doorstep and the package. And in order to successfully build those, you are going to need this bag labeled number four right here, and then this unlabeled bag as well. Now, before I get into the build, I just want to apologize for any potential background noise and any slight variation in the lighting. With that said, let's get into the build, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so for the first step, you're gonna need a size 15 white beam. You know it is size 15 because it has 15 holes, and then you will also be needing six of those black pins. And what you're going to do is you're gonna insert one pin at the end. You're gonna skip three holes, then you're gonna insert one here, and then one right next to it. Skip another three holes, so one, two, three. Insert another one, insert one right next to that. And then the last one is gonna go at the very, very end. So it should look just like this. Now you'll be needing three of these big white plates. And one thing that I wanna point out really quick is that these plates do have a top and bottom. So this right here is the top. It's mostly flat aside from these two little ridges right here. But then if you flip it over, there's almost a hole right in here. So for this next step, you need to make sure that all of these plates have their top face pointing up. And what you're going to do is you're gonna insert the short end under the six pins you just put in. So one like this, and then one right next to that. And finally, the last one on the remaining two pins. So as you can see, all of these are the top face of the plates, and it should look just like this. Now you'll be needing another size 15 white beam, two of those long blue pins, and two of those black pins. And now the first thing you are going to do is insert the black pins in the two end holes. So one right here, and one over here just like that. And then you're going to take the short end of these long blue pins and insert them in the end holes of the middle plate. So one right here and one right here, just like that. And finally, you're gonna take this size 15 white beam and you're gonna put it across those four pins. So just like this. and the final piece should look just like this. And now you can set this piece off to the side. And now you'll be needing one of these small blue plates and two of those black pins. And what you're gonna do with those black pins is you're gonna insert them into these two holes on the top face of this blue plate. So right here and right here, and it should look just like this. And now you'll be needing a size nine white beam and two of those black pins. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert a black pin into each end hole of this white beam. Just make sure they're on the same side. So it should look like this. And then you're gonna take this piece you just made and put it onto these two pins right here. Just make sure that these two black pins are faced downwards, so like this. So you'll see the two black pins are faced down. And the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing a size seven blue beam and two long blue pins. And the first thing you are going to do is take the short end of these long blue pins and insert them into the two end holes of this blue plate. So just like this. So that should look like this. And then you're gonna take this size seven blue beam and attach it to these two pins. And if you do that correctly, the ends of this beam should be aligned with the edges of this blue plate. And the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two long blue pins and one of those small blue plates. And the first thing you're gonna do is take the long edge of this blue plate and attach it to these two blue pins. Just make sure that the top face of the plate is faced up, so just like this. And then once that's done, you're gonna take the short end of these two long blue pins and put them in the end holes of this plate right here. 
and the final part should look just like this. Now you'll be needing a size 7 blue beam and one of those small blue plates. And the first thing you're going to do is take that size 7 blue beam and attach it onto these two blue pins right here. So just like this. Again, if you did that correctly, the ends of this beam should align with the rest of this piece right here. And then you're going to take the long edge of this blue plate and attach it to these two blue pins right here. So just like this. Again, making sure that the top face of this plate is faced up, and the final part should look just like this. So now you'll be needing one of those blue pieces that's part axle and part pin, one of these yellow axle pieces, and one of these yellow pieces that has two axle holes on the ends and a beam hole in the middle. And what you're going to do with that is you're gonna take this yellow axle piece and put it on the axle part of that blue piece all the way down. And then you're going to put one of the end axle holes on this yellow piece on top of that one. So you should have a piece that looks just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to insert this pin right here into this hole right here. So just like this. And you want to make sure that this yellow piece is in the orientation that I have it so it's facing this way. And the final piece should look just like this. Now you'll be needing a size 7 blue beam, two of those long blue pins, and one of those small blue plates. And now we are going to do what we did before. You're going to take the short end of these two long blue pins and put them into the end holes right here. You are then going to take the size 7 blue beam and put it on top of that, making sure that the ends of this beam align with the rest of the piece. So it does, just like that. And then with the top of this plate facing up, we're going to attach it to these two blue pins. So the final piece should look just like this. And now you can go ahead and pick up this piece I told you to set aside earlier. And what you are going to do with this is you're going to insert these two blue pins right here into these two bottom holes right here. So just like this. And that piece should look just like this. And now we're going to flip this around to the back. And now you'll be needing two of these long blue pins. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the long part of these blue pins into the two holes next to these blue plates. So one right here and one right here. And that should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these size 15 white beams. And what you're going to do with those is you're going to attach one to these two pins and one to these two pins. So just like this. And that should look just like this. This is now the completed doorstep, and it should look just like this. And now I'm going to set this off to the side. Now in order to build the package, you're first going to need two of those small yellow plates and one of those black pins. And now what you want to do is make sure the bottom of the plate is faced up, and you're going to insert this black pin into this middle hole right here. So just like this. And then you're going to take the other plate, again, bottom facing up. You're going to insert this black pin into the center hole of this plate. So just like this. And the final piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing these four long blue pins. And what you are going to do with those is you're going to insert the short side into the four corner holes of this piece you just made. So one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And that should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two more of these small yellow plates. And now what you want to do with these is you want to put them directly on top of the two that are already here, except you want the top of the plate to be facing up. So just like this.
one right there and the other one right here. So the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two more of those small yellow plates and one of those black pins. And now on this first yellow plate, you wanna make sure the top is facing up and you're gonna insert that black pin into the center hole right here. So just like this. And then you're gonna insert that black pin into the center hole of this other plate. Again, just make sure the top of the plate is facing up. So that should look just like this. Now you wanna take this and put it onto these four pins right here, but you wanna make sure that the center line of this piece right here aligns with the center line of this piece. So just like this. So that piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of those gray pins that have a long section and a short section and that two by three flat shiny brick. And the first thing you are going to do is insert the long section of these gray pins into these two holes right here. So just like this. So that should look just like this. And then you wanna take the short end of these two gray pins and insert it into these two circular areas on this blue piece, so just like this. This is now the completed package and it should look just like this. Now before we finish up this video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a look at my bag four, we still have one of those small gray pins, one of those black pins, and one of those small yellow axle pieces left over in the bag. If you have something similar, don't be worried. They typically include extra pieces, usually the smaller pieces. So that way, in case you happen to lose one, it won't be a big deal because you will have a spare. All right, so here we have the completed doorstep and the completed package, and those are the two mission models contained in bag four. And so that's about it for this video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.